अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह, अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह। आई एम ग्लैड यू आर सेफ अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह, अ फर्स्ट ऑफ मेनी अचीवमेंट्स टू कम पास इम वी शुड ओनली होप देर स्टिल मच वर्क टू डू While our focus was on Al Ghul, Fulaf quietly scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus. I have found dwellings in three districts that are most unassuming. Debid and Rebecca have arrived from Alamut and set off to Al Abasia and Karg. I will make my way to Sharqia shortly, and I will join Rebecca in Karg, where corruption is as common as the arid air. See Abu Jafar about some things he's been working on. Then come find us. Have a look, Basim. I may have something that is of interest to you. This should serve me well. My thanks, Ahmad. It's Abu Jaf. <laughs> oh, you jest. Every now and again, Araka lahikan Abu Jafar. Keep well. And you, Basam. Master, are you ready, Basam? Kar awaits. Ready. Let us move. Follow me. Ever thought you would return here to Kar? No. Much of my childhood was spent along these streets. Finding friendship with rats and roaches. Some memories are good. Most are bitter. Memories only serve to distract us. The order has spread their influence into every crack in the city, turning Baghdad into their farm. That will change. Responsibility lies heavy on our shoulders. The order's blight falls over Kar, and we are the only ones who can cure it. How has Rebecca been adjusting to Karh? She does not like the politics, but she has to fulfill her duty. Karh is an acquired taste. Business is at each other's throats. The obsession over money, huh. perfume. People here are happy to be lost in their own paradise. A paradise that can only be afforded by the wealthy, and often corrupted. Come, we're nearly there. Welcome back to Kar. Ah, <sighs> spice still clings to the air. What was it like? The first time you took a life. I barely recall. It was a man I used to know well. Before all of this. Before the hidden ones. You do not remember. My memories are buried next to him. I refuse to let his death hunt me. The way his breath hunted me when he was alive. I won't let the past define me. This is why I now consider myself the daughter of no one. If we do not quell the storm within us while awake, it takes us in our dreams, like with you and your genie. Now, the souk, like Rebecca said, some guards came through recently. Oh. Breaking bottles, smashing crates. What caused this aggression? Let's find out. I've also heard they're seizing foreign goods, mostly from the East Road. The East Road. I believe I know someone who can help. It has been an age. Hopefully, he is still around. I would be happy to see him again. Do not let nostalgia cloud reality, Basim. I will not. I know nothing stays the same.
It has been some time. I wonder what has changed around here. Maybe I could first pay an old friend a visit. Lies! You reported my... What fresh brew do you have for me today, Kong? No brew until Luca returns my crate. But if you have come to buy tea, I have many recommendations. <laughs> Kong! It is me, Basim! Huh. Nisaseya? Who? Basim! I am not an idiot! Everyone claims to be someone I know. Answer me this. What tea did my Basim like? Ginger with some turmeric. Wrong! Basim does not like tea. Hmm. <laughs> wow, Basim! Little Finch! Look at you all dressed up! Come, come, follow me to my stall. Away from this terrible man! Oh. So, little Finch, what have you been up to, huh? So many years. Just here and there. I had to leave Baghdad for a while. Ah, youth. What about yourself, Kong? What have you been doing these years? <laughs> doing what I do best, making coin. Although with some difficulty of late. The guards are on high alert. And that Greek merchant has taken it in his stride to report me at every chance. I know it in my ripe old bones that he waits for me to die of starvation. Or worse, go out of business. Ah, but here you are, little Finch. Remember the dazzling duo we used to be? How about helping a friend out for old times? Ah, just like old times. But I need to speak with you after this. There is something I need as well. Of course! After you fetch my confiscated crate of beautiful leaves. It must be over there, where the guards are. Go forth! Fine. But I have something to ask of you after this. Yes, yes, of course. Nothing here for you. This must be Kong's crate of tea leaves. You'll be back. Looks like this crate is still intact. Kong will be pleased.
My leaves! Praise be to you, little finch. Where shall I put it? Come, come, put it here. Bassam delivers once again. Many thanks, little finch. Where are these from? India? No! This is all the way from China. Dali, my hometown, produces the best leaves. I also import leaves from India and even Persia. Moving up in the world, Kong. Kah first, then the world. I am now selling my goods at the Grand Auction. Have you heard of it? The Da'irat al-Mal. Yes, I am trying to get in. Why? What kind of business are you doing, Little Finch? Why not share it with me? We work so well together. The kind of business that could get you into big trouble. Do you think you can help me get into the auction? Ah, that is my Basim. Always with the secrets. But do not play around, huh? Kah is much more dangerous now than before. The auction is very exclusive. It is not easy to get in. I can help you, little Finch. But first, I have a request. See there? Blocked! The guards are stopping everything that comes in from the road and river. It is as if they are taking orders from someone higher up. These days, they do not even accept my bribes. They must be looking for something. An object, or... Some stupid nonsense, I do not know. But they spoil my business, that I do know. Now, I just sell dumb leaf water. I hear that they keep the items in the Harbor Master's guarded warehouse, somewhere east of here. Let me guess. You want me to help you free your wares in exchange for entry into the auction. The warehouse is decorated with banners around some cranes. My items for entry into the auction. Sound like a good deal? Sounds like a deal. Hey you, Kong's friend. I may have something you would be interested in. Come closer. What can I do for you? Hmm. This is about what I can do for you. Did Kong ask you to enter a warehouse? Just say what you have to say. <laughs> that Kong is always trying his luck. Well, it's his lucky day because I happen to know where it is. All I need is something in return. Tell me what you know. Follow the road, cross the bridge on the right, you'll see the warehouse on your left, past the river. That narrows it down. Thank you. Go away. You know, it wasn't Sajjad that led the charge into the right. It was me. The warehouse Kong mentioned. I need to find out more about this harbor master. Weather's nice, at least. Sure to check them all.
instructions to search any and all foreign goods for an artifact. An ancient Chinese hairpin, specifically. This all starts at the harbor. Hey! strongly worded letter to the harbor master. He let a hairpin slip through their fingers, and someone is not happy. There is a scent on this letter, and a familiar symbol, El Kululu. Looks like the harbor master is part of the order. Fate is sealed. A list of exotic foreign goods seized, most from out of Baghdad. There are Kong's things. Vases and some expensive tea leaves. This should be what Kong needs. The harbor master has set up this blockade for foreign wares, especially for ancient artifacts from the east. There is nothing more here. The harbor master is waiting.
Won't take long! to move. Insufferable talk. Yeah! 
Enkidu can explore safely now. What see you, my friend? Come. Say, uh, who goes there? I have a weapon. Just me. Ah, the little finch returns to the nest. Empty handed? <laughs> it is here. This can help you get your wares out from the harbor. Ha! Huh. I never doubted you for a second. Come. Let us enjoy a cup for the memories. I will even make your favorite. What did you find there? Who was behind it? A man by the name of Javid. He was working for someone, looking for an artifact. An exotic hairpin. It is important somehow. I need to find out why. I must. You have changed, little Finch. Or should I just say, Finch? When we last met, you were a street thief. Now, I hope you know what you are searching for. Sometimes, it is best to leave the thorn in, lest you bleed dry. Now, for what was promised to me? An invitation to the auction. It is only given to esteemed guests. Do not ask me where I got it from, unless you want lies. With that scroll, you can get in without having to fit yourself in one of my boxes. <laughs> that was your plan. Men have endured worse to reach their goals. Someone influential is looking for the hairpin, but let it slip. Now the only chance they have is at the grand auction. Hmm. Now to look into the other lead. The 
ذلك الذي سحق الاسطبلات؟ لا يقول ان الرتابه بتلك النظريه على الاطلاق. You have wasted enough of This is taking too long. I have somewhere to be. And this is hardly worth the coin they pay me. Cut off the finger. Maybe that will loosen her coin purse. Not now. Please, will someone help me? You saved me. What did you do to incur such aggression from the guards? I did nothing. I... I'm only short of coin. Business is business, but I do not have the means to pay their tax. Are your wares moving slow? No, but in recent times, they have increased the coin requested. Therein lies the trouble. Not just for you, but for others as well. Mostly for people like us who are not from here, or not of the same faith. We find it's hard to feel safe in Kah. I have a shipment that's late. I fear my goods and camels might have been seized by the guards. They should have arrived with some merchants bound for the Dairat Amal. If I could ask a favor, my friend, please look for them. Very well. They should be along the road that leads to the south gate of Baghdad. Ah, I might catch them at the watering hole along the southern road. Thank you, Saidi. The road beyond the south of Baghdad. I should see if I can find those stranded merchants. Merchants should be down this road, perhaps near a ridge for shelter. Assalamu alaikum. I was sent by a friend of yours who was worried for your safety. As you can tell from the horse's head, she was right to be. We do not know what to make of this. Let me help. Perhaps I can find out what happened. We would be grateful. The culprit must have left a clue. Footprints. And a blood trail. The horse's head was carried to the center of the camp. My horse, my sweet legum. Malaka. Who would do such a terrible deed? The head do not cast your eyes on me. I did no such Must evil. Have been a sharp blade. Was this your horse? He is claimed by Hades now. Not only do I have to worry about Baghdad's ridiculous thirst for coin, now I must be concerned about my livestock. Malaka. <sighs> Rest in peace, Legum. What happened here? It happened in the dark of night. I could not see well, but I saw someone, I think. I cannot be sure. I think I know what happened. This is a work of intimidation. Someone is trying to prevent your arrival. La, uh, who? Who would do such a thing? I have no enemies, no bad blood. There could be worse fates if you continue down the road. Let me escort your crew to the gates. You would do that for us? Shukran! God bless you! Quickly! Get us away from here! Let us move. The city is not too far. Come! We should leave this place. Quickly! Should have stayed home. 
Where is home? I come from a place called Greece. West from here, across the water. With my horse Legum, we carried goods to and from Baghdad. All the cities we visited. Our goods, Basra, and even Samara. Stay close! Your merchant friend tells me that these goods are bound for the Da'irat al-Mal. Nay, the great auction is a big event, and that meant bigger demands. So you are attending, then? Attending? <laughs> I only wish I had the coin to spend. No, we are just providing stock for the preparations. Guards report to someone called Al Hanka. This confirms my suspicions. Good heavens! Could they have been sent to kill us? Likely. This is not surprising. We've been vocal against the Khilafa and unfair taxes. It can cost us our heads. But the silent sheep is an ally to corruption. They do not like this opposition. I would not be surprised if they made an example out of us to others who might try the same. Baghdad, you are safer now. You are wonderful. Thank you. Here we are. A thousand thanks, Ya Sayyidi. Baghdad is not safe. Rumors swirl through the markets of merchants dragged from their stalls. Have you heard of such injustice? Who would do this? Rumors say they target the Dimiyun, traders who are not from here. The Abbasids want a stake in all businesses. As long as there is coin, lives, are secondary. The note dropped by the guards was from someone called al Ankab. This person is the one behind the attack. Hmm. I overheard the guards refer to the tax collector as al Ankab, Which was odd. Because is the Ankab not female? Tell me his name and where I can find him. Sohail lives in a mansion west of Karkh. Be careful, friend. I doubt he works alone. Thank you, friend. Wafaqaq Allah. Do a visit.
They are a threat no more. Fly free, Enki. Not here. Wait, what? information I can find around here. India? China? <clears throat> no partiality. Not even to their own kind. The Daira... What? The taxes have been paid.
The blockade at the harbor is funded by the coin of the people. does not work alone. Someone not from Baghdad controls the strings. There is a scent on the letter. Perfume. Rose with... Iron. Hmm. I am done here. Nothing else. Roshan and Rebecca will be waiting back at the bureau. Protocol Hidden One returns. Finally. You found the path back. What do you have for us? The one we are looking for is a Demiun. Someone out of Baghdad. You are certain? I found proof. They were working with the tax collector and the harbor master. One used the guards to harass and extort coin from the Demiun. The other seized goods at the docks. Extortion, I understand. But seizing goods? More objects from these ancient beings they worship. They are looking for a rare hairpin imported from the East Road. It will be up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. An official invitation into the auction. Now, we have a way in. Well done. Our target has to be someone connected to both Al-Anga and Al-Kululu. Someone working closely with the officials. Informers heard whispers of the Khalifa's treasurer. In recent times, they have been quite involved in the businesses of Kah. Someone like that will no doubt make an appearance at the Da'irat al-Mal. We should prepare, so I will scout ahead. Meet me near the souk when you're ready. Not a lot is known about this person. Underestimating your opponent is a fool's folly. Worried? I will tread carefully. The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it. Whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wise, and how much more so for fools. Haban Mubafagan. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karg, treasurer. Property stolen, merchants extorted, foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin, one up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire and draw you from the shadows. <laughs> 